Welcome everyone to Charlie Tarot. If you are new to my channel, welcome and feel free to subscribe. So we are going to do a pick a card reading for singles. Will I ever find love? Now I am going to label the cards from one to four. So you will find that in the description box below. So this will be pile number one, which is the soul cards tarot deck pile two, which is the North tarot pile three homebound tarot and pile four landscape tarot. So feel free to pause the video so you could go ahead and tune into the card. So whatever card you feel drawn to, then definitely pick that card for you. You could also pick more than once. Um, if they don't resonate, you could always come back at a later time. I am lab labeling this as a timeless reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with your guys is pick card reading. All right, deck number one. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. These cards have already been shuffled. So we are just going to cut the deck for you guys and see what is coming in. All right, first card out, we have the four of wands, the two of cups, wow. The ace of swords, the six of wands. The Chariot, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. This is a beautiful reading. We do have the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So whoever picked deck number one, this is a beautiful message for you guys. Okay, so we have the Empress coming in, which is the goddess of the deck. Sorry, it's a little smudged right here. Now, the Empress, I love the Empress, okay? This is the divine goddess. This is nurturing. This could be motherhood. You could be a parent here. But it's all about love, abundance, unconditional love, okay? So it's about aligning your mind, body, and spirit, entering a state of healing. There's positive outcomes with this Empress energy, but also lots of blessings and moving towards the right path. Yes, it could have been a very long journey or feeling like a long journey here with that nine of pentacles energy. But this nine of pentacles is success at the end. Okay, so love is in the air, basically. Okay, as we have the nine of cups, a wish fulfillment, true love. Now we do have the four of wands. So you're definitely going towards a love situation as you're carrying this empress energy. Okay, now carrying this empress prince Empress energy is operating from a higher level of consciousness, a higher level of self-awareness. So what you're going to attract is the same as you here, okay? Now, we do have the Four of Wands, which is all about stability within your home, your family, your finances. This is about going to the next level in situations. We do have in this person that is coming in in this position is the two of cups a strong emotional bond i love this because it's divinely guided and it's a wish for you okay the ace of swords is in the challenge position to which i feel is that there hasn't been any clarity um, as of yet but there could be a feeling of an awakening that is occurring or some type of breakthrough here as in the mutual energy is a very attraction type of energy okay lots of chemistry and love coming in because it's all about victory the six of wands is about attraction about um like kind of like a speed way a, a speedy victory for you uh, somebody recognizing you it feels like a perfect blend of two people coming together now we do have the chariot and the four of swords so for some of you guys there could be a feeling of not really knowing where something is going right and the chariot is mostly stating that there's victory again you have two cards of victory so it's you it's uniting with someone here after possibly a long pause or maybe a break with an individual from you know, a long time ago and you've done a lot of reflection within yourself with the Four of Swords. So this is 
stating that you have gone within to now you're attracting the abundance of the Ten of Pentacles energy. But we do have the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords could be feeling stuck at times. Maybe I'm not going to find anyone. And maybe I'm, you know, just going to be single or however. But no, that's not the case here. Okay, so whoever picked deck number one, there is love here. There's lots of conversation. There's a lot of uh, feelings of attraction and both wanting the same thing. Again, the chariot, it's about confidence, the willpower. You know, this is more of becoming the person you want to be, right? And meeting this person that kind of mirrors you in that way. So this is like the, you're going down the best path for you, okay? There might be some unfocused energy or feeling like things are going in the wrong direction, but as you're operating from the Empress, it looks beautiful on where you're going towards. And again, you're going towards your wish fulfillment, which brings 10 of Pentacles energy, abundance, love family stability okay long-term success so this is just a beautiful reading now i am going to pick a lovers of oracles for you guys um and see what else we have Ooh, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and it'll all work out Yes. Now, surrender could really mean anything. It could be surrendering the old version of you, the old way you look at yourself, right? Or how you look at life or the situations. But it's just saying surrendering the old. So that could really mean anything. That could be a person. That could be a situation. That could be, again, a perspective. But it looks beautiful what's coming in for you as you let go. You become, you're becoming this beautiful empress that you are, male or female, that is guiding you slowly but surely to your abundance. So yes, love is here for you guys. I love this. It's like a, a soulmate connection coming together here. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and leave it here for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed your singles or pick a card reading. I am going to go now to deck number two. Welcome deck number two. Let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. These cards have already been shuffled. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and cut the deck and see what is coming in for you guys. All right. We have the eight of coins. So we have the eight of pentacles, the devil, the full, ooh, the ace of cups, the three of coins, the king of cups. Ooh, oh, wow. You have the high priestess in this reading and the four of wands in the outcome. How beautiful is that? And then we have the three of wands <laughs> and strength. Ooh, number eight is coming in. Like you see, I, I mean, I see eight. I know it's the infinity symbol, but right away. So you guys could have like path number eight in your chart here. Um, and then we have the king of coins on the bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. Okay. We have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Um, we have cancer. We have strong Leo energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, yeah, we have good energy here. Okay. Oh, and Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. I think I said that already. Okay, guys. So what I'm feeling here is the double is the main card I see that is negative. And this is can bring a negative thinking. This can be someone that was very toxic in your past um, or a situation you were in to where you broke away from the chains, but it still leaves a scar, right? Um, and I feel like by the devil being here, there could be some things here that could be still clinging on to you as you're more going towards the full energy. So I feel like you are more concentrating on work, your goals, your life, very independent type of energy, very strong from this devil energy, right? This is someone that can have, you know, called you names, treated you very poorly. Um, I mean, terrible, right? Uh, something to where it really, again, left a big scar. Now we do have um, the, the strength card, which is very powerful. And I feel like this card needs a lot of attention because not only is it about courage, it's about silent strength. 
okay? This is, you are gifted natural healer. So this is you operating from a pure, unique heart. And when I say unique, it's because of all the pain and suffering that you have gone through with this devil energy. You have overcame this. You have, you know, you could have been blocked by fear when this individual, you know, when it was hard to move forward from this individual. But once you broke away, it was like nothing will stop you okay so i'm loving that energy here because it's showing you're coming into a situation with a pure heart now there could be some self-doubt as you are taking this leap of faith which i feel like you are gaining the confidence to go out right making a decision going um towards a love situation the ace of cups is here so this is new beginnings in love now this could already have came in or something that is coming towards you the more that you're gaining that confidence releasing the past and more moving into self-love self-healing self-awareness i mean i feel that the high priestess really knows a lot in life so you could be very wise when it comes to situations as we have that ace of cups coming in <clears throat> now I do see something either wanting to begin here with the three of pentacles energy as we have a king of cups so this is an energy of feeling open to love someone who is caring a good friend a comfort someone who's very comforting with their words um not this devil energy i mean you could have dealt with a water sign right but no i feel like this is completely new and as you're going into this there is a high priestess energy coming in which again stating that you have now powerful um, psychic visions. You might not think you do, but you do. This is a very a person who has that inner knowing, that inner truth, who is spiritually wise. Okay, so there is no hidden agendas um, when coming to this high priestess. She can see through a lot of energies. So I feel like possibly when you were dating people, or if say if you dated a couple people already, you could have been misunderstood right i don't know why i'm getting that because she is very unique he male or female very unique and you're operating from a peer loving place so people could be misunderstanding your energy as um really not able to read you right <laughs> but all you're doing is operating from a loving place and being yourself and really and that pain you turned into power, right? And all the struggles that you've been through. So yeah, so I feel like the more pain that you go through, the more you feel misunderstood with people in general. But I feel like that is where you're gonna find your match and to not give up. Don't lower your standards because people, you know, don't understand how you see things because how you see things, you gained all that from all the pain and the experience. I feel like a lot of people, you know, who say, oh, I'm awakened. Yeah, you're sure you are, <laughs> you know, but then when you really meet somebody who has been, um, you know, that really sees things and operates from their heart and actually like practices self-love and treats others kindly, um, you, a lot of people are not going to understand. They might not be at that level of consciousness as they probably think they are. So there's a lot of assuming that can go on when you talk to these individuals as to why some of them don't work out, right? I mean, I'm just getting that for some of you guys. But we do have this Four of Wands energy and the outcome as you are using your High Priestess energy. Now, with the Four of Wands, I mean, this is all about relationship stability, marriage, and that is in your outcome. So as you are working on yourself, well, every Everything that you have been through in life it's like you're now moving forward out of this you know out of the old into a new version of you and really accepting it and owning it and loving yourself and that's when you find that person that is that just gets you okay that just gets you but this devil energy could be a little bit challenging as you release and how try not to look as at people with the let like not looking at people with the lens of the past okay like, you get it. You get what I mean. Um, so we do have the King of Coins. So t very strong Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming in. Something that is stable. I mean, we have kings here. Okay. Stability. 
Love, long-term, loyal, reliable, okay? This is somebody who works hard for their money. You could be meeting this person at work, however, but it just feels like this relationship is going to be very strong, something that is very compromising um, for each other. You guys are going to grow for one another just by all the experiences you've gone through in life. Okay, so very beautiful energy as new beginnings are coming in as you take that leap of faith into the Ace of Cups energy, which is new beginnings in love. Gosh, this is such a beautiful reading. <clears throat> Sorry for my hard breathing. Um, that double energy is like <laughs> really intense when I talk about it. Um, let's go ahead and pick a Lovers of Oracle card for you. I mean, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying if you're coming from the High Priestess energy, right? Because that's what I feel. Oh, look at this. We have passion. A magnetic and deceptive, deduct, I can't even say it, seductive quality surrounds you at present and enjoy it. There could be a very like passionate relationship coming in or something that is like somebody's looking at you as very attractive. So whoever's watching this could be very good looking. I mean, that doesn't matter. Maybe your heart is just very beautiful um, or handsome. But yeah, it just looks like there's things that are happening like really fast here. Um, let's get one more for you guys for deck number two. I really like this reading. Because, okay, so it does feel like so talk, from like going from toxicity from like hard times and to a new journey right and to where you find that pure love here i mean that's how i'm viewing it here a lot of work a lot of effort to get where you are today it's not easy to what you have overcame look at that we have soulmate hello yes okay and we have forgiveness oh my goodness see that's what i'm feeling here with that devil okay good great message here Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And then we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Yes, you have to believe. Okay, I love this reading so much. This is definitely someone who's went through a lot of toxicity within their life, has gone has overcame so much chaos and lots and lots of healing that you have done are doing and beautiful things are coming in as long as you believe. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Now I'm going to go ahead to deck number three. God bless. Welcome deck number three. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I already shuffled the deck. So now we're just going to go ahead and cut it and see what is coming through for you guys. All right. I love these cards. These are, are called the homebound tarot. All right. So we have the nine of wands energy coming in the four of cups, the high priestess. Okay. And the six of cups energy. The sun. Ooh, I love that. The ace of pentacles. The nine of swords. And the six of pentacles. Oh, wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck is justice. And the page of pentacles. And we have the full energy. With the four of pentacles and the star. Okay, okay. I love it. I love it. Okay, deck number three, I am feeling some past energy. I know this is a singles reading, but there is some past energy. Someone either holding on to you or you holding on to an individual. But I do feel as you're focused or maybe coming out of a situation, you could be having your guard up here. But I feel like you have every right to but there could be a challenge of the past still lingering, okay? Now, the justice card is only wanting what you deserve, and that's what I love about your reading right now is because this is someone who wants balance, who wants equal give and take, right? <laughs> who wants long-term, truthful um, situation. So more of a true love. Now, with this Four of Cups energy, there is an energy, and I'm feeling again that 
someone could be looking at you as a missed opportunity or feeling things are very frustrated. Now, this could be your energy too because we have a lot of great things coming in, but there could have been some someone here offering their cup, but I feel that you're looking away from the situation. We do have the high priestess energy, so this is more of like still possibly holding things inside or things that are needing to work out here within yourself or within your situation as we have the past here. Here. okay so it's like either yearning for the past or wanting the past to come back but we have a new beautiful things coming in so if you're putting yourself out there and going towards new love then yes that's what's going to come in and that's what i see coming in as we have the sun energy but also we have still like either an ex-boyfriend or someone that you're in and out talking to or something like that that can be the blockage of moving forward to these beautiful opportunities because we have this nine of swords energy to where there's could be a connection where you're feeling bonded to at one point that can have really stopped you from moving forward with individuals i feel like as you move forward this person could be popping back up again and then you lose all distraction and then people are walking away with an empty cup so i feel like that is for some of you not all of you but i do see something is coming in as this page of pentacles an offer a solid offer that's bringing in nothing but the sun energy now the ace of pentacles is all about brand new opportunities the fool is all about having that confidence right this is having support from the universe and awakening to take that leap of faith to new beginnings a brand new journey leaving the past behind completely because there's something here that has a potential to to grow and something worth exploring okay there's a lot of beautiful things here the nine of swords energy again there could be some hard times or sleepless nights as we have this energy kind of blocking you in a way like blocking you from like finding that person um but in the outcome, as you take this leap of faith and this beautiful energy starts coming in as you're wanting what you deserve, we have the Six of Pentacles, an equal take, give and take situation, okay? This is giving you with their mind, their heart, their body, their soul. This is beautiful. This is two people blending together, a perfect blend of two people, equal give and take, just like what you wanted. And I feel like this person right here, as we have the Six of Cups, like some of you guys could have known this person from childhood who's coming in also. Um, but this right here, I feel like if it's a past energy, like an ex or something, it's like you, it's like they, you gave them all of yourself. Okay. And they gave you little. And that's what I'm feeling here is because you could have your guard up sometimes or feeling as if you're needing to protect your heart. Um, so there's times where you could be blocking energies. And this other person, it's like you want to block them, but somehow they keep creeping in. Okay, now I'm not saying that's for all of you again. I'm just feeling that whoever's watching this could be kind of feeling that energy here too. Um, but yeah, either way, regardless, past or not, we have beautiful things coming in, but we do have that Nine of Swords. Again, it's more of in the mind, okay? But you have all the power here with the Nine of Swords. This is an opportunity to see clearly, to listen to your intuition here, and to go and explore those new beginnings and having that faith and having that confidence to take that full journey which is beautiful. It's so fun. I mean, we have the sun of new opportunities, of new experiences. Like, it's a beautiful thing. But I feel like this past, like since the holidays are coming up, usually the past does come up. Like a message could come through, you know, I like Merry Christmas or Happy Thanksgiving or if it's your birthday's around this time, Happy Birthday. And you're like, really? <laughs> I mean, that could really kill a mood, right? But um, yeah, so I do see beautiful things coming in for you as you take that leap of faith more towards the sun. Now, you see the car, like it's going off the cliff and it's depending on the moon to guide them, which is your intuition. So this is completely going to the unknown and uh, leaving the past behind here. All right, card number three. That was very, I mean, deck number three. That was very intense. Like I do, like past is here for sure. But um, also, this is more of like 
kind of being a little bit suspicious to like everybody who comes in your life, as you should. Um, but there again, there could be somebody is bringing in this offer, which is sun. So the happiest card in the deck, which is a new opportunity as you take this leap of faith. All right. Could be hard, though, especially if this is here, because the high priestess, I mean, it's in the challenge. So this could be like a feeling of like a hidden feeling for you, right? But there's like a lot of mistruths that come here too, like like not um, the great intentions, right? So you could be already feeling what this person is doing to you as you're trying to move on to this new life you want. Because it's so familiar, it's so comfortable. Sometimes when we have a past energy this lingering there and they go away for a little bit and they come back again and you're just like, ugh. You know, but then that's when I feel like this is where that nine of swords comes in is to where you're wanting more of that, what you deserve here with the justice card. And that is being true to yourself. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and grab a, oh, here we go. Only time will tell. That is, uh, this is lovers of oracles. So we have only time will tell. So a lot of patience is needed. Well, if, if you are healing from a past situation, then yes, this is going to be a lot of healing as you, okay, so we have forgiveness. Okay, so, and now I had this, I think this came in on deck one was forgiveness, okay? Or was it forgiveness or deck number two? Okay, but there was forgiveness in one of those, so you could go ahead and check those out too. But we do have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Exactly, I knew the past was here, I knew it. <laughs> because it's strong and it can stop you from creating something new to bring into reality, right? And I feel like you already saw what was happening as the more you concentrate on this person or you think about this person or seeing what they're doing or they're contacting you, it could be a big distraction. So forgiveness is not for them, it's for you to release yourself from them. Um, so you're no longer anchored to the past, right? And that's not easy to do because we do have the nine of swords. So that could be causing a lot of sleepless nights and anxiety as you're breaking free from this individual or trying to, you know, come out of this situation again, going more like you feel like you're being pushed, like you're going through a transformation in a way to where you're feeling pushed to start to new beginnings. Okay. So beautiful reading for you guys. I am going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, so I am going to go ahead and go to deck number four. God bless. Welcome pile four to your reading. Um, let's go ahead and get started and see what is coming in. Now again, this is the homebound tarot deck. I love the drawings on here, it's so pretty. All right, let's see what is coming in. We have the Ace of Wands, wow. We have the World card, the Page of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, oh, this is nice. The Two of Cups, the Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups, wow, and the Three of Cups. See the fire, uh, fireworks right there? And then we have the High Priestess and the King of Wands and the Chariot. Whoa, this is a beautiful, beautiful message. Okay. All right, for you guys who picked pile number four, this message is super strong because we have the High Priestess. Now the High Priestess energy is powerful visions, having psychic visions, highly intuitive, okay? So you're very spiritually wise. This is an energy where a lot of healing has happened or a lot of awakenings to where you're just a natural healer, okay? So you could be seeing things before, like you could be seeing through individuals or be able to identify who's good for you who's not good for you right away so this is an amazing energy to have especially within a love reading we do have a aries leo sagittarius coming in here um, love that energy because all about leadership a lot of attraction here as we have this new beginning coming in i love this so much it's like okay 
So the world is about closing out chapters and going into new cycles. So this is, I feel, something that is completely new coming in, okay? This is not a past energy. I do feel like somebody has emotionally detached from an individual as they closed out this cycle here and now moving towards more of that ten of pentacles energy and i love that because it's all about abundance joy family dynamic long term okay and then we have the two of cups with a strong emotional bond now for some of you guys could have you know thought about walking away if, if you already met a person that you're talking to or if you haven't met them yet it's like there's a part here where there is some type of detachment but then it comes in with a realization of wanting to come together okay so that is for some of you but this eight of cups i feel is like emotionally attaching and closing out the cycle with someone else and then now coming into your energy okay beautiful beautiful message we do have the page of wands so i do feel like there was an individual here <clears throat> or there was times to where things were just not kicking off within dating, right? So I do feel like there was a lot of times where you saw that person only wanted one thing. A person wasn't as committal or very inconsistent or someone who it just you couldn't take seriously. Okay, like a player like energy. Well, you're going to see with that intuition and what is coming in. You're going to feel this love and it's going to feel like victory here. Okay. So we have you, this chariot card is more of rushing in determination, uniting with someone. That's what this means. Success, especially with that 10 of pentacles. I mean, this is the whole package here and it looks like things are closing and things are beginning. So your intuition is a big part of you finding love and it's so great that you have that that beautiful gift because you're first of all you're not going to settle for anything less you have a lot of wisdom from your past right that you're bringing in you could have gotten a lot of awakenings from past situations that brought you where you are today so what you don't see coming is a ten of cups energy which is your happily ever after and celebration with the three of cups which is unity love happiness and compassion with that 10 of pentacles, okay? So something solid, long-term, reliable. So yes, love is here for you and you will know when that comes, okay? It could be a due to a new passionate beginning um, that's starting up here or something new that is going to feel like a spark of attraction here and it's bringing you together. And I really love that within this energy okay we have the page of swords and the page of pentacles so it does look like someone could already be spying here and wanting to send you an offer or wanting to send you a message in some way but it's gonna start very solid no drama i don't see anything but this eight of cups energy and the page of wands which can state that there was people that you probably disconnected with or situations where you felt a disconnect but then coming together within a love connection okay okay let's go ahead i mean this is a gorgeous reading and it's and again i'm going to keep saying it because the the high priestess is pure she's strong she's loving okay she's a bit mysterious but that is because she already kind of knows what is going on there's no hidden agendas with this high priestess okay it's nothing but truth this is not assuming or anything like this. She knows the truth. She goes by what she feels. She listens to herself. She follows her divine true path, which leads to nothing but abundance. You're not wanting anything less than what you deserve. This is a high priestess or a person who's connecting that connects with their gut. Okay. And you, that gut is guiding you to your soulmate situation. And I, I love it. I do. This is beautiful. This is victory. The world is victory, accomplishments, beautiful new cycles beginning. The ten of the ten of pentacles is all about completion, okay? And ten of cups completion. So this is it. This is it. I really love this. Oh, let's see what is this? Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Can I mean? really <laughs> 
And then we, it says, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of any resentment. Okay, so I do feel like that's why you're the high priestess right now is because you learn that, right? Again, there's could be some situations to where you really had to go within to become this high priestess energy. Again, this is not just anyone. Um, this is a higher level of consciousness where you're gonna where you're gonna be able to see things in different in perspectives that a lot of people cannot see. So again, beautiful reading for you guys for pile number four. I'm loving it. It just it says continue to follow your heart and your guidance and your manifesting miracles. All right, guys, look at this. Three of Cups, celebration, unity, love, compassion, happiness. That is just for you guys. All right, I am going to go ahead and leave it here. If you do like this reading or if it helped in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.